Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a title screen or splash screen, any kind of screen that you want for your game or whatever it is you're working on. And this is something you can do very easy and it looks pretty, pretty good, I think, pretty professional. So we're just gonna go into first person template here. We're in 5.2. It just takes a second as usual. Okay, so I just did a tutorial about this, about this, if I come to content drawer and it doesn't dock. So what you can do is just come into window and go to load layout default. And then when you go content browser and dock, it docks. Don't ask me what's up with that. Okay, so now we're good to go. I can press alt and kind of move around the scene here a little bit like that. But we're not really interested in this. What we're interested in is making a splash screen. So to do this real quick, we're going to right click and go to user interface and go to widget blueprint, go to user widget. We'll just leave it on the default. I'm going to double click on to this and dock this up here. Oops. And dock it right there. And the first thing we need is a canvas panel and we have to have that because that's what organizes everything. So we can stretch this out to 1920 by 1080 which is the size of a computer screen. And then if we go to border, this is a really useful component or function here because it's so useful. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to anchors and we're just gonna make it full screen. And you'll notice when I do that, the offset, I don't know why it's at those numbers, but we'll just zero those out. And you notice once we do, it fills up the screen. Then we just have to come down here. There's a couple things. There's a brush and under tint, we want to draw as a rounded box. And then under brush color, we can set this to black and you can just leave it black if you want, but I kind of like the transparent look. So we can just drop the alpha down to 0.5. And just like that, we have this kind of cool looking background. But the one other thing we have to do, I can't forget, is they talk about Z and we got to put this and uh, push it to the back. Otherwise, we can't put anything on top of it. And just you can put it negative 10 in the Z order so it doesn't fight with anything. Now, let's just to show you what you could do. You could add, add a custom font that would look cool, but we can just get text for right now, just some common text. And don't make it a don't make it a child of the border, just drag it on like that. Click the text here. We can size it to fit. Under font, we can make it bigger, I think 32. And just drag this on here, right there. And we can put in something like, I don't know. Welcome to the monster game or something like that whatever whatever you want to put really and of course we probably want the font bigger than that and then we can change the color to something cool cooler color like that and there we go just like that but we can't really see it at this point so what we have to do is just add it to the real quick so just on event begin play we'll come over here and we'll go create widget and just set it to our new widget blueprint and here just add to viewport and add to viewport like that and then we hit play you'll see there is our screen and of course it's adjusting I actually don't have this anchored right at the moment so that's something else but it's gonna fill it's gonna fill the screen over you on the screen. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe if you're so inclined. I really appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.